Hi guys, a client of mine dropped off this wig for me to customize and I recorded the process however long ago. And my phone was really full and I was going through stuff and I found the video so I said I would edit it quick and put it up. The wig is by Alva Wigs and this is basically what comes in the box, what comes in the package. You get a pamphlet, well a flyer, that shows you some YouTubers that have tried the hair, a little message to the back telling you that they're looking for um, people to advertise the wig. The wig itself, which comes in a Ziploc bag, a weaving cap and another flyer talking about the return process and what to do if you have any problems so right now i'm just going to show you the construction of the cap it comes in the same ziploc bag with a hair net over it and a bit of a chemical smell and this wig is a lace front wig it's 12 inches long you get about a 13 by 2 section the temples are a bit narrower than the center. The center goes in till about 3 inches. It comes with 3 combs to the top, 2 at the sides and 1 in the center. Yeah, And at the bottom, by the nape, there is another comb along with some adjustable straps. There's also a piece of lace at the bottom so you're able to pull this hair into a ponytail if you desire. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just trying to get an idea of what the hairline actually looks like and how much work needs to be done. I'm going to go ahead and take the wig and p put it on my work mannequin. Don't judge please people, she has been through some things. But this nude cap here is going to help me to see the hairline properly. So the wig is already secured and I see what's going on. I see the baby hairs that came with the wig and now I'm just setting it up to bleach the knots. This is how I put the, my cap on the mannequin. I make sure I push all the hair backwards so that none of the hair gets bleached. To bleach I'm going to be using this Paul Mitchell Synchro Lift and this High Test 20 Volume Developer. Now when you're bleaching your frontal and I know there are a lot of videos on YouTube you want a consistency that's thick because you're trying to bleach the knots to the top you don't want the mixture to seep through to the bottom. So what I do is I use a ratio of 2 to 1. I use 2 scoops of bleach to 1 scoop of developer and I make my take my time and mix and make sure that it's a smooth creamy texture. So here I'm just going to show you now what I got. And sometimes you can eyeball it. You don't have to use that much bleach because with these ready-made lace front wigs, the space is not that see big, here? so you don't need what to you waste want. your product. You see how this is the consistency that I'm thick. talking about, and I like it's this um spatula product, runny. spatula um tool from Optimum because it makes it so easy to just glide that bleach onto the lace. Way easier than with a brush. So you're just going to place it to the top. You're not going to press it in. You're just resting it to the top of it. It's like you're barely touching it. Yeah, I'm just going to go over it and make sure that the entire surface is covered. And you're going to see in a while the little bit of product that I have left on my spatula. So the entire thing was covered and I did not use like a full bowl of bleach. Yeah, there it is. That's all I have left. So you want to just cover your... Um, frontal with some foil to help it process a little faster and you can keep checking on it intermittently. I usually leave my mix bleach mixture on for about 10 to 15 minutes so here you see me taking it off because that time has passed and I'm just gonna bring the phone closer so you all could see the change in the color of the knots. You see it's sort of well a bit orange I guess. Now we're gonna rinse it off and I'm just washing all the bleach off and I'm going to use a neutralizing shampoo first and then I'm going to go in with my shimmer light shampoo to um, tone some of it. I'm just showing you the difference with just the bleaching without tinting, without plucking, how it sort of looks like scalp already. We're going to let this sit for a while and then we're going to rinse it out. Once it's completely rinsed, you, I place it back on the mannequin head and this is basically where I'm going to begin plucking. If you guys are interested in seeing a full in-depth video on how I pluck my frontals then you could just say so in the comments below and I'll be sure to do that. This is the amount of shedding that I got. I don't know how they just do it and get it to stay on the hand. It keep falling but yeah that's all the shedding I got after I bleached. So right now here yeah I'm gonna start with the plucking. I'm showing you different types of um, tweezers and this is what we look after how it looks after the first pass through. You see it's beginning to look like an actual scalp. And well, here I'm showing you one side is complete in terms of plucking and the other side still needs to be customized. But you see how you get the baby hairs to fall naturally. I didn't even have to cut anything. Just by plucking, 
that's what I got and this is the amount of hair that I removed from the wig and this is it before I started plucking and this is the wig after this is what the hairline looks like so thank you for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe and until the next time bye loves